Hello everybody, welcome to Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music both new and old, and um, I just realized that yesterday marks my two-year anniversary of having done the Wonky Angle on YouTube, so yeah, I've obviously come a long way, and it's <laughs> kind of crazy that like almost 3,000 people are watching me right now, or or subscribe to me at least. I thought I've, I've, I guess I thought I'd do basically what I did for my uh, one year anniversary um, and basically show off uh, my CD collection, uh, but just the stuff that I got um, since making that video. So I'm gonna jump cut over to there. And this is my updated CD collection. As you can see, this entire top shelf has been filled, which is pretty cool. And I've also gotten down to this shelf as well. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be uh, taking out the CDs that I've gotten since uh, recording my one year anniversary video, so uh, let's uh, do that. Doing this transition again. Okay, so first of all, these are, is my collection of CDs uh, from Ultim the Ultimate Records label. Now some of them I, or I believe I already showed before, the Solar Fields ones, uh, the Carbon Based Lifeforms one, and uh, maybe some of the Ace Dana ones. I can't remember which ones exactly. But uh, I, I have this whole Bauman one that I said was coming in the mail when I made that video. And obviously it's arrived. <laughs> that was like, that was a year ago though. And I have these two from Asura. And all of these from Ace Dana. Uh, season 5, Ley Lines and Perimeters. So yes, that's a thing. Um, moving on from there, and here we have my collection of Monolake CDs that I did not have previously. Obviously, I got inspired to get all these after I reviewed VLSI last year, and that made my year-end list. Um, that was a good album, and I also have now Hong Kong Remastered, Interstate, Cinemascope, Gravity, uh, Momentum, Pon Polygon City, Silence, and Ghosts. So those are a uh, thing. And Monolake is an artist that is worth people's time. You can check out that VLSI review, I, I guess. So moving on from there. Alright, now here... I think we already know what these are. Um, yeah, so I believe I already showed this one off, Selected Ambient Works Volume 2, in uh, the one year anniversary video, but now I also have uh, 8592 Androx, and also uh, Expert Knob Twiddlers, which I bought uh, from uh, the Mike and Rich Bandcamp when that got reissued. Yeah, so. This is the reissue with the bonus tracks with a giant freaking crack in the back that just came like that, unfortunately. At least, at least, at least it's just the jewel case, you know, but yeah, that, uh, or, or maybe I switched out the jewel case and bit because of a sticker or something, but I, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> But yeah, that's the thing, and over on this side of my knee is uh, a couple of other CDs that I've gotten on the bottom shelf of there. And uh, so, yeah, this is uh, the Orb uh, COW Chill Out World with the sticker on it that was pretty cool and makes this cover look more interesting. And uh, yeah, that's a, that, that um... I may not have been super impressed by that album, but, you know, I have all the other Orb CDs, so I figured I may as well get that one too. And BT's Electronic Opus, I also have here. Um, I did not think that I would ever be able to get this in my possession because of the whole Kickstarter thing, but yeah, and on that topic, I also have the USB of his underscore album in here, which, um, 
Oh my gosh, this is dusty. Gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. So, <laughs> as you can see in here, you got these cards that are difficult to take out. Oh, you piece of... Get out! I can't do this. There we go. No, that's... No, you didn't, you piece of... Ugh. Oh, get out! We're making progress. There it is, there it is. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. What, there, there's four? Oh, really? <laughs> Excuse me for a second. Okay. Now here are the four uh, cards that came with the uh, underscore um, thing. So like you have, like this shows the entire track listing of the underscore album, uh, which yeah, and this this was the part of what was it? Uh, Indivism, yes, Indivism, and like this, because you can see like there's you got these three shapes on the cover and the three cards are like the shapes on the cover so like the the one this is the one in the middle that's indivism so this would be artifacture i believe no it's omega so that would make this one artifacture yeah there we go okay so like it goes that's artifacture indivism omega bottom to top okay that's interesting uh haven't obviously have not looked at this thing in a while so yeah that that is a thing um okay so this is really hard to do when you oh yeah and there's the usb itself um yeah it's got an x on it which uh yeah and the cap this is really hard to do when you were holding a camera at the same time oh my god okay and I guess the other thing that maybe people have noticed is over there I have a copy of uh, Matt Moe's A Chance to Cut is a Chance to Cure. Um, yeah, that I found at, like, uh, the Anka FYE uh, when I was showing my little brother recommendations to of CDs to buy me for Christmas because nobody knows what kind of music I listen to. And that's the thing, so moving on from there. Okay, so here we have some my CDs of Plaid and the Black Dog. Um, should be fairly obvious why I group these together. Um, so, all right, so there is not for threes with a nice reflection of my dresser there. Uh, and myself, cool, oh uh, yeah. And that's a rust-proof clockwork and double figure, so those are nice. And, you know, double figure kind of freaked me out at first because it looked, like, so low resolution. And, like, this, this is pretty blurry. It looked like it was, but no, it's like, that. that's actually what the CD is like. It's just blurry on purpose. It looks like it's coming out of a copy printer or something and that is not for threes which has hands on it and it's also the version with you 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 non disan and spudnik on it instead of the version that just ends there and also has a track called io somewhere in there i think and yeah that's the thing so over here black dog we got spanners um with that very nice CGI back cover. Like there's some old school 90 CGI there for you. And yeah, that is a really nice album though. Uh this there's silenced. Uh not quite as interesting a back cover. I have not actually been looking at the back covers for those other ones, but yeah, and that's music for real airports. That's a thing too. That, that was not an easy one to find, actually. So, yeah, those... These are good CDs. My favorite albums from these two bands. 
that used to be the same band at one point. So yeah, going on from there. Zoom, zoom. Okay, so here we have my collection of CDs by The Future Sound of London and other aliases of theirs, mainly Amorphous Androgynous and others. So yeah, there is Accelerator, um, Earthbeat, which only has one FSOL song, I think, on it, but all the others on it are various aliases of FSOL. So yes, there's Amorphous Androgynous, Tales of Ephedrina, Life Forms, big obvious one there, ISDN, uh, Dead Cities, the Isness, which, um, I'm, t yeah, this is, uh, an Amorphous Androgynous album, but the version I have says The Future Sound of London on it, so, yes, that's, that's, that's a thing, I'm saying that's a thing a lot in this video, uh, Alice in Ultraland, uh, Environment 1, the one that's, eh, okay, but the rest of the Environments albums are pretty good, uh, was that one? The Peppermint Tree and the Seeds of Super Consciousness by the Amorphous Androgynous. Yay, the Woodlands of Old Environments 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 and a half. Or 6.5. Yeah, those... Obviously, um, I'm sure on the offhand chance that uh, Gaz Cobain ends up watching this one again because he watched my review of these two over here. Yes, that is a nice hefty collection I have here, and also Cartel 1 and 2 as well. So, yes, um, yes, going on from there. Zoop. All right, so over here, we have my collection of 808 State CDs. We have XL, Gorgeous, and Don Solaris. I do not yet have 90... Um, new build, uh, outpost transmission, or quadra state. Um, but those are my three favorites. Big, so these are the ones that I figured were most important for me to have. And then over here, which I'm sure other people are going to be more interested in. Oh my god, it's Boards of Canada! Oh my god, yes. Um, even though I'm probably a bit more of an 808 state fan, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, music has the right to children with happy cycling on it. That's cool. And Geo Gaddy with a very broken jewel case. But that's, yes, um, yes, Boards of Canada. Hooray for Boards of Canada. <laughs> and going on from there. Zoop. Okay, so over here we just have a random smattering of. CDs from no particular artists uh, that just happen to be shelved next to the 808 State and Boards of Canada ones. So here we have uh, Churches. I know I made a lot of people cringe with that one. I know it's pronounced Churches, but that is a V right there. Get it right, people. Churches, every open eye. And uh, I actually have not heard this album yet, as much as I hate to say it. Um, I got the CD because uh, my mom and dad were like, I forget where they were, but like, I don't know. They, they, they found a CD place and uh, they found the electronic section and listed off a bunch of CDs they found. And this was the only one I recognized the name of that they told me over the phone. And since a lot of people, a lot of reviewers I know, gave this one really positive reviews, I decided, you know what, mm, wouldn't hurt to have this one in my collection, but I still have to actually listen to it. I am a horrible person for having not gotten around to it yet. And then after that, here's something that I listen to quite frequently, um, Steve McQueen's uh, Bullet... Nah, not Steve McQueen, piece of shit. <laughs> Steve McQueen is the actor. Lalo Schifrin's bullet. Uh, <laughs> Lalo Schifrin's bullet soundtrack, the original version, which also contains uh, the like original soundtrack from the movie, as well as the soundtrack album, which has alternate versions from the movie. Uh, the, the actual movie bullet, by the way, is a freaking amazing movie, and you should check it out. 
as well as this soundtrack, which is maybe my favorite soundtrack of all time. It's either that or her behind Cack's Death Wish. Um, might need to get that CD at some point as well. Anyway, um, here's STS-9's Artifact. This one, because I this one always piqued my interest because, like, the cover always looked weird shaped to me whenever I, like, got it on iTunes or something. And, yeah, this, this CD is definitely interesting. It's got this uh, booklet in here. Um, I'm, since I, I'm not doing this one-handed. Okay. Uh, and Basement Jacks over here with Crazy It's Radio. That's my personal favorite Basement Jacks album. I know it's the least popular one. It also has this cool cover which shows the dog foot scratching. And also the uh, letters changing color and dog head moving. So, and, and also background only. It's one of those things that changes when you move it. Um, I know that's not the most popular Basement Jacks album, but that's my personal favorite of theirs. Uh, because, I don't know. I'll have to talk about the Basement Jacks someday. Uh, there's Pretty Lights, Color Map of the Sun, um, which comes with this neat booklet. Uh, and the CD... It's, it's the two CDs with the second one that has the uh, breaks. Uh, the instrumental sessions, yes. And unfortunately only goes up to my only hope. Still wish <laughs> still wish that wasn't really the album's ending, but you can check out my review for details on that. And over here, here are some CDs which are not electronic. That is Storm Corrosion, a self-titled collaboration between uh, Stephen Wilson and uh, the the lead singer from Opeth, I believe it was. And yeah, this is a freaking amazing album. And I, I, I love it. As well as I love this Porcupine Tree album, The Sky Moves Sideways. Yeah, I'm a big Stephen Wilson fan, in case you couldn't tell. And uh, yeah, that's... Yes. I probably could stand to get more... Uh, Porcupine Tree or Stephen Wilson CDs at some point. Um, I was thinking of getting Grace for Drowning at some point. And I'm also quite interested in hearing what Stephen Wilson's uh, new album To the Bone will sound like. But we'll find out. I have not actually heard any of the singles yet because I don't like spoilers. So, uh, yeah. Moving on from there. Um, I have Pendulum. CDs, Hold Your Color, In Silico, Immersion, and Knife Party's Abandoned Ship. Goldie would be so proud, wouldn't he? No, he wouldn't. He hates Pendulum. <laughs> we'll get to him. And, um, after that, perhaps most importantly, a thing that I was actually planning on saving for last in this video, but uh, I, I kind of recorded this out of order. Um, CDs of my own music. Oh my god. So yeah, would you look at this. I have a Bubble Machine remastered, Dark Clouds remastered, Marble Jar remastered, Inside the Mainframe, If Tomorrow Was a Ball Can I Bounce It on the Driveway, and Spiral Out of Control. All my own albums on CD with back covers and booklets. Uh, these five, I actually printed out all the designs and stuff on, like, computer paper. So, like, um, for example, I'm gonna uh, take Dark Clouds here. I even got the CD labels. Um, oops, I forgot to turn on focus. There we go. Um, so, yeah, you can take this booklet out. And I even, like, made these little booklets here that just kind of, you know, have these visuals in them. Um, yeah, that I just threw these together in Photoshop. So, yeah. Um, those are cool things. 
Uh, so yeah, these are unfortunately the only CD copies in the world of these albums. And uh, the only actually professionally made one is this one here, Spiral Out of Control, because I got this one professionally made because um, it's a double album. As you can see, it got disc one and then disc two on the other side. And the cool booklet, which has like more of these pictures and uh, this cool thing that I assembled together in Photoshop, which is like just a bulletin board of pictures um, with the titles of tracks on them. And also more pictures and more pictures with the uh, anime things in it. You stupid weebo! I'm <laughs> so yeah, I could I could go through these other ones, but I, I don't want to make this video that long. Um, yeah, so the only problem with manufacturing CDs, though, like first of all, I mean, sure, I I I man I made these five for free um, by printing out the designs myself on computer paper, but this one, just this one that I made, that I had made professionally with uh, disc makers, that one cost me 40 bucks. Just this one CD. And I assume manufacturing a whole bunch of them in once, I mean, it'd probably be, like, it's not, I, I assume it's not 40 bucks a pop if you, like, just buy them in bulk, but... Um, that's kind of why I have not been manufacturing CDs of my own albums, but, yeah, um, my own CDs custom-made for my music, which you can check out on my Bandcamp page, which is gonna, I'm gonna link that in the description, how about that? Um, it's 256pi.bandcamp.com, and you can also listen to all these albums, uh, on Spotify or buy them on iTunes if you want even though Spiral Out of Control unfortunately does not have the same cover on iTunes on Spotify because um, apparently somebody else used this picture for the cover at some point which is weird because you know I didn't draw that either obviously but that that one went through um, but whatever I, I don't know I don't know um, so uh, let's finally finish up this video then and over here we have my most recent additions to my CD collection uh, unfortunately I've not bought as many CDs as I've wanted to this year um, which uh, you know I mean I had to pay a lot of Texas this year unfortunately so yeah um, Anyway, uh, the Yes album. This is a copy that I picked up from none other than our good friend Spin It Reviews, who was selling CDs on Discogs and offering review requests to anyone who would buy a CD from him. And I happen to be a big Yes fan, thought I might support the guy, and also I requested him to review Damn. <laughs> Since I figured, um... Might be something to, like, help, uh, drive traffic to his channel. Just a big obvious one that people would probably watch. By the way, as a side note, Dam, I probably agree with, kind of agree with his opinion on Dam. With my, I don't like it as much as a lot of people, but I do love the track Triple X, and that basically <laughs> redeems the entire album for me. But anyway, Robert Miles' Dreamland. Uh, yeah, I got that one right after hearing uh, Robert Miles passed away. And yeah, I specifically got the version that only has 10 tracks, because that's the version I'm used to, and I don't really like one and one that much. So, yeah. R.I.P. Robert Miles once again. Um, and these five down here are CDs that I got at um, a Rough Trade record store in London. I, I think it was the East one? Or, no. No, I think it was the West one. I don't remember. <laughs> it was, uh... Yeah, so... Um... 
uh, yeah, I got these on my London vacation, uh, thanks to some people who recommended me the record store on Twitter. And so I got Fortet Rounds. That was pretty cool. I got Burials on True, which I'm sure people have been eyeing for a while. Um, I got Miles Davis in a silent way. That was I, I've also not heard this one yet, but since I like several Miles Davis albums, um, I'm sure I'm gonna have no problem getting into this one. Uh, also Brian Eno's Another Green World, and of course, saving this one, uh, Goldie the Journeyman. Yeah, so I still got this one in spite of stupid things that happened on Twitter. <laughs> if for those of you who missed that, um, basically when I sent my review of this album here to Goldie himself, he was like, oh, you're, 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 you're as qualified to review this album as Trump is qualified to run the USA. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, what? And then he blocked me too. Uh, <laughs> You know, weird reaction to what I still consider to be my favorite album of 2017 so far. Still stand by that. And I also still plan on getting Goldie's uh, first two albums, Timeless and Saturn's Return. And I also plan on covering his Saturn's Return album in the very near future. In fact, I was planning on doing that tonight until I realized, oh shit, my, I, yesterday was my two-year anniversary, I better do something for that. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my CD collection, so, um, yeah, so I'm gonna move this up here. Do, 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 do. I know, they're no fleas in focus. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my CD collection uh, so far. An update to my CD collection. Thanks so much for having stuck with me for two years. I now have almost 3,000 subscribers, and that's pretty amazing. And I already said that uh, at the beginning of this video. Um, and yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how to end videos on the script. <laughs> Here's to another uh, year of um, maybe buying more CDs than I did this year. Um, we'll see. We will see. But yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all for today. See you next time.